Okay. Uh, good evening. Week five. Okay. So this is the week before reading week. Uh, today's agenda. We're gonna do two case study. Okay. And these case studies will be in your term test. Case study number one. So dual phase steel. Case number two. So trip skill steel. So last week we did a case study on Uzi ball already, right? So I'm going to go for this two case study uh, for today. Uh, let's talk a bit about term test. Term test. Okay, the only term test you have for this term or for this course is on October 21st, 6.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. I will give you 45 minutes extra. Okay, to scan in your answers. Okay. Uh, you must turn on your webcam during the test. Okay, so that's the thing. So we are not we are not going to do recording. There's no recording. So what is going to happen is you turn on your webcam. Okay. You go to specific meeting rooms during the term test. So I'll put on Avenue to Learn. If your last name fall from A to D, go to meeting room one. Uh, e to G, meeting room two, so on and so forth. And each meeting room will have a TA sitting on the on their computer watching you. Okay, just look at you. Okay, so some of you might think, hey, uh, this is not right. Uh, if a test was done face to face, okay, if it was at McMaster, you will have you will be writing and I'll be walking around. No recording. I will just be walking around. Same thing, okay? So there's no infringe of privacy or whatsoever, okay? So take it like a face-to-face -face term test, okay? Uh, assignment meeting room will be based on the last name, okay? So uh, assignment two is due on October 20th, and I've posted assignment number two. And uh, I was asked, is the term test open book? How will I know? Okay, I cannot see what are you doing on your desk. I only can see your face. Okay, so you want to refer to your notes, go for it. Okay, there's no way that we can, there's no way that I'm going to catch one, catch two and not catch the rest. Okay, so open book, open internet, whatever is open. Okay, but the thing is, your webcam has to be turned on during your term test. Okay, are we clear? Any uh, other specific question that you like to ask anyone, please? Wait, when you say open internet, does that mean we can go on like Wikipedia for looking at some strange thing like that, or just yeah, you you can look at you can look at whatever. Okay, you can look at okay. Uh, okay, you can go to wherever you look, but be careful. Some answers are wrong. Okay. <laughs> Okay, do you think we will be up? Uh, Lucas, if you look at assignment number two, I've posted some multiple choice questions you can uh, practice. Long question, very similar to assignments. Multiple choice question, assignment two, you'll see some examples. Okay, do you think you'll be able to post? Oh, okay, that is uh, Lucas. Sounds good, Lucas. Okay, so I don't see. Oh, some more questions. Let me entertain some of these questions first. What was the answer? Oh, God, that's quick. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be posting solution for the assignments. OK, so after tonight, I'll post assignment number one answer. OK, what was the answer to Lucas first question? Lucas, what was your first question? Sarah is asking, can't remember now. Matthew, you have a question? Uh, yes, will there be like a TA help session or review or just general office hours leading up to the, right before the test? Uh, you can contact me directly, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, practice question, so as I said, is in assignment number two. Uh, you have some multiple choice question to practice. Uh, so Ryan, so during the term test, your question you asked me, okay, 
So I'll be on Teams. I'll be in. I will be in every room. Okay. So you just type, and I will answer your question. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, Sarah. This lecture will be in the midterm, Sarah. Okay. Eugene, what's the best yes. way to contact you? Do you prefer email or uh, Teams? Quick message. Oh, uh, you can type me on Teams. I'll be fine. Teams, Teams is better. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh we asked. Yeah, today's uh topic will be covered in the term test. Okay, will be involved. All right. So I don't see any um, messaging going on anymore. So let's look at case stud study number one uh, for today. So uh, case study number one will be on dual phase two. Okay. So we, we know that uh, dual phase steel okay, we are aware that dual phase steel uh, has low hardness okay. So if we look at dual phase steel property If you look at A, B, and N, the A is at 120 megapascal, right? And then the B is at 1020, and the N is at 0 0.196, okay? Uh, C is at 0 0.125. So these are the material constants okay so someone is asking me question i'm going to refer yes the solution of uh two will be posted on october will be before okay so just do it okay i'll post it during our uh, reading week okay so don't worry yeah okay so we know that this uh, material has ferrite okay so the dual phase Steel microstructure. Okay, we are aware of this. It has ferrite plus martensite plus some retained austenite. Right. So if we look at the uh, mechanical properties, okay, mechanical properties, and relating to uh, the A, B, and N and C, the fact that this is 120 is due to retained austenite and uh, ferrite. Okay, they are soft, and the B and N are very high. Is because of martensite site contribution. Another material that is very similar to this that has a lot of martensite, site that has high strain hardening is what is uh is Uzbo, yes or no, right? So if you can see that during deformation, they're okay, doing uh, plastic deformation. Okay, uh, the ferrite is absorbing majority of the energy. Okay, the, the ferrite is soft. Now, some of you might ask me, Eugene, uh, retained austenite, isn't it soft? 
Yes, retained arsenite is also soft, but upon impact or upon uh, stress, the retained arsenite will transform into a different microstructure. Okay, so major and, and there's not enough. Down here, the percentage is low. This is much higher. The ferrite percentage is much higher. Okay. So this is the background of material number one, or, or, or case study on, on dual phase steel. Okay, so this is the background. So, so after my my consulting work with uh with a company regarding foosball, okay, the same company got me back uh maybe 18 months to two years later. Okay, they have a, a different problem. So the time frame for Uzbo was about 2008. This is about 2010 where this happened. Okay, so 2010, just a bit of history for you guys. 2010, the economy is recovery. Okay, but we have this problem. Okay, this particular com same company that I did consulting had this problem. Okay, or, or it's working on dual phase steel. Okay, so the problem is this. Okay, the, the problem that this company faces is, is, is this, okay? Uh, the formability or the ductility okay, ductility, uh, strength or uh, dual phase steel Six hundred, okay, uh, varies with different uh, batches or lots, okay, and all this material. Is from the same company. Okay, so you when you receive material from from this company, right? The ductility and strength changes, right? And depending on the batch. Okay, the manufacturing productivity changes, right? The higher the strength, the more stresses you have in your tooling. So it changed, okay? And more background on this, the material supplier is not Canadian, okay? It's from Mexico, and I had the I was fortunate enough to go to uh, Mexico, and Mexico is a very interesting country. How many of you have been to Mexico? Anyone? Yep. Yep. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Super. Yep. Nice. <laughs> so uh, when I say Mexico, what comes what comes to your mind is what tequila? Yes or no? <laughs> right, <laughs> tequila, and. <laughs> And and yeah, it's one of the few countries per per nation that has the most universities. Okay, so Mexico has you know, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of universities. Okay, so uh, I I'll, I'll write down how uh, the Canadian company order the material from Mexico, and this is the view of order. Okay. So the view of order, so when you order something, you have to produce it. So the view of order okay, the view of order is uh, you have wait, I'm going to look at the chat. I have a lot of questions coming up. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. So we have uh, specification Okay, specification 
for ordering material. 